Welcome to the Apprenticeship Portal. To begin, click on the Login or Register tab, then select Candidate to start the registration process. Click on Register as a candidate and fill in the required details. If you are or were an ITI student, check the ITI checkbox and enter your role number to auto-fetch your details. Once a candidate registers, an activation link will be sent to their registered email address. The candidate must click on the link to activate their profile within hours. If the link is not clicked within the specified time, it will expire. In such cases, the candidate will need to request a new activation link. Once profile is activated, log in using your registered email ID. Dolly date your email using the OTP sent to that email and access your profile. Welcome to your candidate dashboard. Currently, your profile is 0% complete. Please note that in order to make your profile visible to potential employers and be eligible to apply for job openings, you'll need to complete your profile fully. Let's begin by completing all necessary steps for a 100% profile. Start by completing your EKYC. Enter your ADHAR or VID number and validate it using the OTP sent to your ADHAR registered mobile number. Your basic details such as name, date of birth, photo, and address will be auto-fetched from the ADHAR database which cannot be changed and is used further in the profile. In case candidate wants to change the profile image, then it can be done at this point of time only. Next, update your bank details. Enter your IFSC code and the bank name and account holder details will auto-fill. Add your account number and type, and by providing your consent, you confirm that you are aware the DBT amount will be credited to your ADHAR linked account. Update your qualifications by adding details of your education and training under schemes such as DUGKI or PMKVY, etc. Ensure your educational and skill qualifications are up to date with these programs. Ensure your scan documents are in JPEG, JPG, or PNG format and within the specified size limit of maximum 4 MB. Finally, Complete your profile by updating mandatory fields, including your mother's name, category, and signature image. Upload your signature in the specified format and file size. Candidates after EKIC is done, ADHAR database is shared with PFMS for beneficiary ID creation on the basis of candidates at HAR seeded bank account. After completing the EKYC process, now you're ready to explore apprenticeship opportunities. Use filters to find roles that match your profile and apply directly through the portal. Track the status of your applications in the Applications tab. View and respond to invitations from establishments in the Invitations tab. Review contracts issued to you. A temporary contract code will be generated. Once a contract is issued, you have to accept the same within 14 days from the issued date. After 14 days, Contract status will change to expired if you don't sign. Check all relevant details such as job role, training duration, and location. Accept or reject the contract by clicking the respective button. View your stipend details monthwise in the stipend tab. For DBT transaction details, visit the PFMS website and track your DBT status using your apprentice code, select NSDC National Skill Development in Category and select payment in DBT status. Monthwise DBT amount details will be published here. If paid, bank details, UTR, credit date, etc. gets published. If rejected, the reason is shown. If you wish to terminate a contract, go to the Contracts tab, choose Terminate, and provide the reason along with supporting documents. Your request will be reviewed by an apprenticeship advisor. Participate in Apprenticeship Melee by registering directly through your profile. Select your location, fill in the required details, and submit the form. For technical assistance, use the Zoho ticketing tool to raise queries. Click on the Technical Support button, sign up with your email and mobile number to get started. You can raise a ticket through the Add Ticket button. Once the ticket is issued, it will be denoted with a unique number. Track your tickets under open, closed, or on hold statuses.